Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in the last episode I was doing some stuff with Rotary Born and I got it a little bit wrong. Mainly because I was watching a video about it and the video that I was watching was talking about a slightly later version. So while I was thinking the inventory cables was you could also direct but the later versions you can. This one you can't. Anyway, let's get on and look at that again. It was to another mistake I made as well. That was rather silly of me. In the... Where have I got them? I need to move some stuff around still. Here we go. I was testing this power cable out, wasn't I? And it wasn't working. Now, in these here, you'll see that I've only put two Pluto Rock in, which didn't help very much. So yesterday I put in 64, and of course it started to work, as expected. And it seems to be... It seems to work reasonably well. And on the top here... I put this one in, and this one was already completed because you got this as twice as fast as we noted yesterday. So that is what's going on with those. So today, and the inventory cable here, I was playing with this, and I was going, This is very strange. Let's maybe it's the inventory, the hoppers, and all the rest of it that's being problematic. So, what I've also discovered, I'll remove this because it doesn't help at all having this here. Um, the chest is now here. I want to talk about a few more of these components we've got in here. So you can use, I'll use this wrench, I think. So you can shift right click these off here. Like that. They're, no, they're not much use. They will actually allow you to connect these two machines together. So for example here, we're going to put this down here. We can connect these these machines together like that. And then they will all be affected by this router, including this power. So we should see power in these as well. Not yet, huh? Or maybe it doesn't work with power. Actually, it doesn't matter that much because we can make another one of those. Let's do that. So we need an energy router. I was expecting the energy to be routed as well, but it doesn't look like it is. It just looks like it's for items or maybe fluids as well. Where's my arrows? So we want the energy router, which I think is up here. I could probably just got my chem in here, which is a bit of a large mod. Right. So the energy router is looking a bit blind here. Where has it gone to? This is open modular turrets, which I suppose I don't need either, actually. I was looking for something, so there we are. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, energy router. So that's just a straightforward router, which we've already made a few of. Plus, put that in there, plus the redstone. That'll give me another energy router. So we can route the energy to here. Now, what I'm going to do today, so look that, put that just down. Let's put it down, say, here. And then they will also oh, just double check we're getting no power. And we haven't got no power, that's right. Put that down. Then that connects to this lot. So these will now have power, I think. Oh, no, they don't. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I think this is because it needs to be facing this pipe here. So let's just pick it up again. I will remove my clock. Shift right, hard shift right clicking didn't work, that's right, yes. Now, which way around is it? I'm not 100% sure if it's this way or the other way. Let's have a look. Nope, it's the other way. Because you still don't get it. So let's do a very quick shift right click on that one. Come back again. Oh, so if I can get into space where I can actually see what I'm trying to do. Yes, so we are. So that should be the right side. So that's now got the blue face. It's the blue side, and they're getting power. So that's got the blue the blue square on it here. So that seems to be the connector. So all the rest of the faces will output, which is great. In fact, I can take the eclipse surface rock out of here because we're going to do something else today. So we made all this UU matter. So let's go and get this. And what we can do with this, let's have a look at the uses again, because I've 
completely forgotten what the one I want to make. It's the shape crafting one. It's actually towards the end, isn't it? It's 16 or some page 16 or something like that. Copper dust. This one, tetrahydrate dust. So we can click this into, into place. So we, that is basically using five. So that would give me easily a stack of this. I don't know how much I need to be honest with you. We'll take half a stack, so we'll just do... We'll do 32. I think 32 will do as a starting point. Because if I remember rightly, it was something like eight of these per thing that we needed to make. So the uses of that was in the centrifuge, like that. So eight of those makes one of these, Atomini dust. I'm sure we need more than eight actually. Let's get out a, a stack of those actually as well. A stack and a half, because that's going to be not too many. Now what we can do with this here again, there's another, there is another um, filter or item and this is the pass through one here which I didn't look at yesterday. Now the speed one isn't really relevant for what we're doing here. You do need the speed one, but the speed one is useful for um, Let me just put this into here. The speed one is useful for uh, sorting systems where you've got a load of barrels like this. We could put a speed one and it would instantly put it into one of those as opposed to waiting two ticks. Makes it go faster. But for this stuff, we don't really care. So the thorough, the thorough upgrade, so it will fill one machine completely before moving on. So for instance, if we now put in, say, into here, oops, oh no, that's the right one, isn't it? We need to put this into slot zero. That's the right mode. So if we put in, say, 16 into here like that, that should go out. And I need to select the machine, of course. So industrial centrifuge. Yes, that's correct. I think it's slot 01. Item filter. Oh, I've got this item filter on here. We can remove the item filter. Let's press delete on that. Get it back again. So now they should have disappeared. Oh, no, they're not yet gone. What else do I have to do on this? Redstone. Ignore redstone. Ah, auto eject. I don't want that one either. So the throw update and the machine filter, and then the slots, and that's it. Slot zero. Let's try putting the slot one. It's still not gone out of this. Oh, it's in extract mode. That's the reason why. Let's change that to output mode. Right, there we go. You'll see that those have all gone into the first machine. So if we now put in another 16, they're going to end up in this machine again too. So that's what the so that's what the thorough, thorough upgrade does. So let's just remove this one because we don't really want that for this one either. So now we can simply put in this. So we can split it into say three lots. Let's make it four lots. And then we put that into here. Oops, 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 try again. Put that into here. Wait for that to disappear. And that will go into the next machine. Like that. And the next one. And the next one. And the last, next one. And then the last one. See, those are all now starting to spin. I've got, oh, that's the problem. I've got the stuff in there, haven't I? And in here, too. So we've got 32 in there. So where did the others go to? 64 in there. Ah, you can see it's actually... Ah, oh, it's gone now. Oh, that's right. Of course it is. I'm being... A bit tough, but anyway, that's progressing fairly quickly, so we don't need to worry about this in terms of speed. I should have checked those before I put it in, shouldn't I? So that's nice as well, that's quite neat and it's quite tidy wiring on the stuff. So this bit here I got completely wrong because it didn't work with those things, but it's not actually so bad. What we've got on here, for instance, so look at this. If I shift right click with an empty handle on this, you can see the face, and I've got here 
basic and an advanced filter and an extract upgrade. I am not 100% sure what the extract upgrade does yet. Well, we'll have a look at the two filters first of all. So for instance, if I look at the basic filter, I've got it empty. Let's put in some eclipse surface rock in here like that. And it does take the item. I thought it might have been a ghost actually. Never mind. So that's, then this is the basic one. And the basic one, all you can do is whitelist or blacklist it. Okay. And the advanced one here, you've got also metadata and NDBT data. So that's good for other stuff. But you can also put into it the actual upgrade height basic filter as well. So you can have multiple sets of filters in there. And then we can put this back into this face of the chest here like this. Shift right click either with the right, an empty hand or with the wrench. And you can put it in here like that. So now let's put into this the items, some items into here like this, for example. Nothing going to happen to them. Well, we could basically connect these together in different ways. We could connect them together with an item duct like this or with a now, uh, yeah, an item duct to an item conduit. Let's do it an item duct first of all, and then turn this on. We'll just check first of all this chest is empty, it is. So let's just turn this on. And then you can see in here that stuff goes through. So you see the blocks are going through, which because that's in the basic filter. And after they've gone through, I probably should have used a faster filter for this. Uh, faster server well, hardens reasonably fast it's got two stacks to get rid of hasn't it and then after that it's going to take the next of the the items it's going to pick which is in fact uh, energy conduits and then the last one of course is the item conduits like that let's do that again Take one stack up, and then we'll do it. Which one stack will do fine this time? And we can replace this bit with. I think you can use this wrench as well. Shift right click it, and it works like another wrench, just the ordinary wrench. And it'll work quite happily with the item looks as well. So, in this case, we just turn this on to insert. And this will have as always extract, always active. Oops, left click that one. So these items should, should appear in here as well when we put them back into this chest. Let's put those in there like that. And you can see it's going down and appearing in here again. I'm not 100%, I said I'm not 100% sure what the, what the auto extract does, but I've got an idea. Let's just try this. Uh, it's in this chest, isn't it? So we want to get this upgrade extraction let's put this on this face here like this and then we'll add onto this face here the item duct again and the servo we'll turn the servo on what I think it does have we got any chests around I think I've got a chest in here actually nope let's try the red one yep we can put this chest on here. What I think it does is it will actually move everything else out of it where it hasn't got a space. So anything else that's in here that hasn't got a rule for will come into here. So let's just test that. I'll fill everything up in here fairly quickly, I suppose. And let's go and get the stuff out of here. Let's take one of these stacks out of here and put this back in this chest here. And that should always go into the this chest. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> well, that's strange, isn't it? So, I don't know. I'm not sure what the purpose of the extract upgrade basic is. I wonder if there's an extract upgrade advanced. There is indeed this one here. Let's go and make that. That's basically a basic with two diamonds. The basics like this, which we should be able to craft because sticky piston is one of my stocked items. So we can then do the extract by item space advanced like that. Clear that off. So these are this one here 
oh yeah you've got filters and sides so you can say which side it's going in and i'm not 100 percent sure i reckon these are item filters let's go and make another item filter or an item filter upgrade i reckon which is this one where's it gone to here we go i'm not short of paper They should craft fairly quickly. I think they're actually being crafted. Yes, they're good. We've already dealt with that one, so we don't really care about that so much. We haven't dealt with a packager though. We should actually have a look at the packager. Let's do this. I'm just trying to think what we could actually use for this one. Probably this would do. These are small piles of lapis lazuli, and I reckon that small piles of lapis lazuli. Yeah, that's right. When you put it into four, it gives you this one. So, let's have a look on this chest here. What we could do on this chest here is to actually put in it. Let's have a look at, first of all, the advanced extract. Right, click it in space. So you've got these filters, and I reckon that that can go into there like that. Yeah, it can. Can other things go into here? Okay. That one, of course, can't go into itself. I <laughs> like the Enderman looking at what I'm doing. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> so, for instance, the, base, the advanced packager, or the upgrade basic packager here, it doesn't have an interface. So what, we got, what I'm thinking about doing is we could put into here like this, a filter. I don't know what special chest, I want it opened up, don't I? I want the side open up. Remove this one. And we'll put in it the... I want to do the filter first, so let's just do the filter. Wrong one. Sorry, let's try again. Fil filter, good. So let's put in the filter, the only those we can put into that. Okay, and then we'll put it into the advanced extract. Nope. Let's put that into this one. Let's go that's right way around now. Other packager. Okay, yes. So I'll put these two now into here. So I've got the filter and the packager. And we're going to take this part, these piles of lapis lazuli dust here. I'm going to reverse this. So if I can right click that, yep, it does work as well that onto here and then always extract it and then put into here th this so that should be the one that's pretty pulled in it should get packaged and it should come back ah oh, it didn't work huh no ah uh -huh, okay so whatever you put in the chest gets packaged i see so now you can see this is being these here are getting converted into this because it's in this chest that's a bit strange. I was expecting that to go through that particular side. Of course, there's one. There's one short because that was in the filter. And the advanced packager might have that in here. I do, yes. It has a similar interface, but this one you can have a 3x3 three three grid as well. So you can select. I'm not sure which one, how it gets selected. Oh, that's like that. Okay. So we put the advanced package in here, and then you can disable ejecting. I ain't exactly sure what these do. Hmm. Let's just come over here and turn this off. So it doesn't pull anything out of here. Let's go back to the thing and get some more, something else that will compress. Let's have glowstone. 64 plus 1. We need 1 for the filter. What else compresses nicely? Um, coal. No, that's 8, isn't it? It doesn't do a 9 compression. Um, can't 
think of anything else. Maybe we could try slabs. Some nine slabs. Because that'll actually work on a two by two matrix, won't it? So let's take this now. We need a filter, don't we? Let's make another item filter. Just the basic one will do. What's the advanced one? Let's just do the basic one. Right, good. And let's put into the basic one some of these items in here like that. Nope, I'm going to do it the other way. Ah, yes. Let's put glowstone in here. And let's put slabs in here too. And then let's put into this, get some more lapis lazuli dust. Let's get rid of that. Get a stack of that. Like that. So now we can put this into this into this face. And I'm going to take this packager here. I get it. So the packager here, if I put in this filter in here, this filter only packages glowstone and stone slabs. So let's try this then. Let me just check that packager again and make sure I've got both bits on. I haven't. Let's just put them both in. So glowstone will get packaged into two by two. I'm trying to think of something else that was a good, good example. I know, let's do nuggets. Let's take some iron out of here. Half a, st a quarter of a stack will do. Oh, 63, that could be seven. Okay, that's fine. And let's come back to this again, package it. Let's take this filter out of this. Let's put into this filter here, nuggets. Ha, of course it takes the one, I forgot about that. So that'll leave me with eight, eight nuggets, but that's not so bad. Let's go back to this and let's just turn off the two by two matrix now. So it'll only, it'll only do three by threes. Let's put the filter back into here. So it's only going to do the iron. So let's put that into here like that. And that's that filter, we'll leave that in there. So we can actually put the lapis lazuli dust back in here and that will get taken through. But it won't. I've turned off of course. Turn this back on again. But what it won't do is it won't package this into into dust anymore because that's not in the filter I reckon. Let's put these two in here and the iron nuggets. That's strange. Okay, let's take the packager out again because that isn't working. Let's turn on this one as well. I wonder if I have to upgrade up to the iron ingots in there as opposed to iron nuggets. Let's just try that because that's the resulting one that you're whitelisting. So let's go back to this again. Let's put the nugget in here like that. I'll come back to the packager. Uh, then put that filter back into there. And then let's go and put the packager. We don't, obviously don't need to put it in this face. We can put it on this face, for instance, like that. Then we can have a look in here and see what's going on. So the glowstone is definitely getting converted. And the iron's being converted. And these haven't, because these don't do four by four. So there you are. So that's what the packager does. So the other things from Router Reborn is the manual. One of the hard things, let's have a quick look at the manual actually because it's important to look at this. It doesn't cover all of the things. So it tells you how the router, about the router, and it tells you about its modes. 
it tells you there's an old router as well. I don't think there's any difference between the two. Exactly the same except for appearance. Okay. Then you've got the different bandwidths and it describes those. So that was the, the thorough one telling you about that. That's the speed one. So for example, it takes, we set up a 200 barrels where only one barrel can accept an item will take 20 seconds to find it without a speed upgrade. With the speed upgrade, it's instantaneous. Then we've got the bandwidth one, which basically does a stack at a time. And then this is the eject one. That basically ejects it when allows the to router to eject items to a chest or a pipe. When in the output mode, this upgrade works to protect against blocking. Oh, okay. And then we've got the item filter. We've basically covered that. And then the machine filter. We've done that one as well. Then the inventory cable. And it shows you a picture of the two connecting. And then last one, we've got the camouflage. I haven't looked at that yet. And the storage units, which we've already dealt with. And of course, we've got craft a little crafting on a stick, which is quite useful. And that's it. So none of the special chest has been documented. That's why I've been having a little bit of difficulty with it. Also, floodlights, they're not documented, but they're fairly straightforward. It just lights up an area. And it's quite nice because it doesn't do anything on it. So now with this one, for instance, here, the camouflage device, this is fairly straightforward. What you do with this is you right-click it on a block. So right-click that on there. And you can come along here and then right-click that. Nope, didn't work. Try it on a router. Try again, right-click. Loaded mint. Huh, try shift right click. Okay, shift right click works. It still doesn't work on that one. So then I camouflaged. Looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Shift right click them again and it takes it off again. That's as simple as that. Obviously the crafting on the stick is just a basic little crafting table. Portable crafting table. Nice, nice feature. And the last one of course is the RR pickaxe, which is awesome. Uh and I think that about covers everything that we've done with this. So at this stage here, we should have some. We've got six atomy dust in uh, here, which is great. Sulfur we don't really care about, nor copper, nor iron. And the last one is actually finished, so we've got the four here. Let's remove these. And let's have a look at the uses of that again. It'd be a shame to do that. And you can't use it. Actually, you can't. it's a shame you can't do it the other way around. 51. So look at the uses of that. I don't think you can do it the other way around. Lots of emergency vehicles passing today. Um, so you can't. So you don't want to do it that way. So where are we? Uses of this one. So that was to make battery ingots yeah. and this one still the same blast furnace recipe to make uh, ingot the ingots are straightforward I think you can just smelt ingots can't we we used to be able to okay yeah this is for this one have I got to make a blast furnace now Uh -huh. We don't have any other for oh okay. Blast furnace recipe. Okay, so we've got to make a new bat a new machine, I think that's new. So we've got to make a blast furnace. I'm not sure how to do that. So I don't think I've done one. If I have it'll be over here. This was the this was the implosion compressor and for this needs a 27 reinforced blocks which is tons the recycler and the thermal generator okay so we can't do that yet I need to make a blast furnace let's have a look at the recipe for blast furnace so that's that tech reborn maybe it's not the easiest search this one let's do it the other way It'll probably be the 
industrial brass furnace, I guess. Because this one's bound to be too easy. That's not too bad. Induction furnaces, not too bad. Advanced machine casing, horrible. Okay. This is something for... And this is a speed rolling machine. A shaped rolling machine. Okay, things have got a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm I'm sighing because it's I don't mind the difficult, but I don't like the slow. So when it because what I think is if I'm looking at the quests again, let's have a look at the quests here. We go to crystallize. There's a few quests we haven't done. In fact, I should complete one of these. Now one of these was significant. Now which one is it? Not the Tomb of Knowledge. Evolution. Um, I'm trying to think which one it is. At the top of my head. New it's a new quest. Tomb of Knowledge. We need to do this. I should, I should do that today. Endless water. There's no recipe for that properly. All the glory. Nope. I have seen it somewhere. And I don't remember where it is, but what it's to do with was to make Naquada. I think it's, I'm sure it's one of these quests. Ah, here we go. That's it, yeah. Okay. So this is a non repeatable quest here. For me, at the table, we need $1,000. And basically, it's something that you need to use to convert with the e EMC. Now EMC, if I remember right, is also a Tetra Born thing. Let's go for Tetra Born. Let's try again. I might be wrong about that to be honest with you. No, it's not. It's Project E. And it's this thing. Transmutation table. We have to make a transmutation table in order to, to get things to convert to EMC. Which is... That wouldn't be too difficult. But this one's going to be... Blocks Iridium. And a 2% drop chance. Wow. That's not nice. <laughs> this is why we're making Iridium like crazy. And I've got to sieve it. So that basically means I've got to at least have 50 blocks or luck to get one of these transmutation tables. Uh, okay, big sigh. Because that's a nasty quest. <laughs> so until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. And I wish you all the best.